drums. This fight week came in a few, four days ahead of time. We're kicking it, you know, taking a walk around the uh, a grab around the main square, just getting to hang out in the city and uh, see some of the sights. So I bring my team with me. Everyone keeps me relaxed. You see, you don't see the coaches buying stuff for the fighter. That only happens in Brazil. It's funny because I'm the one that gave him the money. Like, oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Okay. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. For the future UFC champion. What? Oh. Luis is my little ball of walking positive energy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting him ready to go. <laughs> he's a lot of fun and he, he is a, he's a world class coach. Today, he's, he's the best ever because He's not like stressed. We're not stressed with weight. We're not stressed with him. Oh, I have to fight. So it's more like, hey, I'm here. I'm having fun. And on Sunday, you know, I'm ready for this. And he really hungry for this, you know. He's different now. His mindset is different. He trusts himself. I never seen him like that before, you know. Definitely Ben Rothwell would be the guy that I would not like to fight. Europe in general, I feel like, is just begging for more UFC. They're they're looking for some fighters to get behind. There's billboards of me all over the town now. People are recognizing me and they'll stop. And when I come here to Croatia, I feel that energy. I feel like I'm getting them behind me. This is my opportunity to go out and perform for all of them. I didn't say I'm just here to beat one guy. I'm here to beat all of them. Sunday night when the time comes, the switch gets flipped and that's when the monster comes out. Zagrebački električki tramvaj. Zagrebački električki... Electric tram. Hvala. 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 Yeah, now I'm scared. <laughs> I brought uh, Igor Pokajac with me. He's from here, from Zagreb. So he could show us a little bit of Zagreb, you know, and he brought us to this place. It's the, the old part of the city and you, we can see like uh, a big part of the city from here and it's beautiful. Sometimes you can just stay thinking too much about the fight, you know, because you got nervous and you got anxious. So it's not, it's not very good, you know, to stay doing this for a long time. So uh, I'm glad that I know Igor very well. You know, then uh, we could go around and, and see a little bit of the city and relax, you know. Ah! You were here before, right? <laughs> <laughs> we have our yeah. president here, look at this. What's Dana this? is here too. We have friends. We have friends. <laughs> I can tell you I'm having really good times here in Croatia, you know. I think on Sunday night, they will be rooting for me, you know, for my victory. And that's what I want to do. I want to give them a great victory. Fala. <laughs> I'm very motivated, you know, I'm very well prepared for this fight, you know, I know I have a very tough opponent in front of me, but I really believe I can win this fight. First time when I fought in UFC, you know, always there's, there was always a dream about UFC coming to Zagreb and the last two years there was a lot of talk and uh, finally UFC came here. I got the new contract with UFC, so uh, can't wish more. I know you're used to having the crowd cheer for you, this time they probably won't be. Does that present any kind of challenge for them? When, K when Octagon is closed, it doesn't matter what's happening, you know? just you and your opponent and feast, that's it. Uh, I don't know how many people come from Poland, but they're going to hear. It's someone that for the last couple of years I've been calling out uh, just because he is. He's, he's a very high ranked opponent, he's very well respected, and I needed that final push to get my title fight. So when they called me up, I was like, yeah, this is the fight that I've been looking for. I was ready. I'm ready for a five round war and whatever it takes, but I'm sure I'm going to end it sooner than that. And I'm getting ready to to do a round of training, uh, just to loosen up my body. I brought uh, Damir Hatzovic down with me and my coach Tutrenga.
The get up? Oh, this is just a standard Thursday night get up, you know? That's how we do it, like in Copenhagen. Shouldn't be all too serious, all this stuff, so might as well just have some fun. <laughs> how we do? We joke, uh, we're joking around, having fun. But when it's fight time, we get serious and do our job. The fighting, of course, is the important thing, but it's a small part of the game. Hey, Salve. When I was saying to Dean, I was like, uh, is that Dalby sitting down there? And he's like, yeah, it's for the hats and glass, I didn't even recognize you. I was like, no, look, that guy looks like a model. What? I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you need to speak English, not Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> Scottish accent, not everybody gets that. Right over the top. <laughs> When we hit the scales, we just got the fun parts left. Drinking, eating and fighting. And I'm a Viking, so it couldn't get any better.